Fishermen at King's Wharf in San Fernando have lost thousands of dollars in fishing equipment in a fire that destroyed several of their fishing shacks. The fire investigators are still trying to determine the cause of the blaze, but the fishermen believe it was deliberate. Marie Therese Bernard tells us more. A vicious fire destroyed 11 shacks at King's Wharf in San Fernando on Monday night. The blaze wrecked over $100,000 worth of fishing equipment and left the owners shocked. Fisherman Azad Ali tells the tale of what happened. Yeah, last night around 10, 30 to 11, I received a phone call that the room was on fire. I came down here, when I came down here, everything was done, burnt out already. Son, we have things that we store in the room for fishing. Everything was burnt out. Nothing left. Where we have net, we have gas pan, coolers, lights, cloaks, whatever you need for fishing. You know that we would put it in the room and when we going out we would take it out, carry out. Errol Ranghill says this is not the first place that has happened in the last few months. From the ending of last year, from November, we keep on, when we come from the sea, we just keep on getting somebody always trying to start a fire somewhere. Some room always lighting up by fishermen coming in time and we out in it, you know. So I know so who trying to just sabotage us or what, if they're trying to get us off the wharf in this way or what. The fishermen believe that it's not accidental, but that it's arson. Chairman of the San Fernando Cooperative, Salem Ghoul, is also suspicious, stating that it's been at least 24 years of discussion that has been taking place on the development of the wharf. Yes, we had meetings with them, and you know what I noticed? They're calling strange people into the meetings, right, in the past years, to agree with moving King's Wharf, right? If we was not there in the meeting, they would have do anything they want to do. So I don't know why, more than 20 years now, they're trying to move the fishing community without giving them anything at all, what they want, right? So maybe this is a technical way of getting them move. The fishermen say before any development can take place, consideration has to be given to the construction of a proper fishing facility. They argue that they've been located at the wharf even before the opening of Petrotrin, more than 100 years, and agree that expansion should happen, but not at their expense. Mary Therese Bernard, TTT News.